Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. As you may recall, a little while ago I went and finished out one of these standard pattern muzzleloader kits. I uh, made a video about how I you know, blued the, the finish on the steel and carved the hardwood stocks. Uh, and I really like how this turned out. I mean, this is kind of the quintessential embodiment of the standard pattern muzzleloader carbine in my view. However, as I alluded to in that other video, there's also a lot of room for creativity in terms of how one of these kits could be finished out. And so, today, I got my hands on another one of these kits. Uh, this one is an even shorter barrel. I think it's a 13-inch barrel. Uh, so, this could be finished out either as kind of a big old horse pistol um, or as a very short carbine. And I think I'm going to opt for the latter of those. Uh, thankfully, with muzzle loaders, we don't have any of the uh, barrel restrictions that come into play with rifles and shotguns. Um, so, in this case, I have an idea for a very different approach to making the stocks and finishing the metal that I want to experiment with on this kit. Now, there are still a few elements of finishing it out that are going to be the same. The first step, once again, would be disassembly, which in this case I've already done off camera. You probably don't need to see that again. And then I also went ahead and flame blued the hammer and the trigger uh, exactly the same way that I did that last time. Uh, but the rest of the finishing operations uh, are going to be different this time. So without further ado, let's get started and see what we can do. Once again, I started by grinding the contour of the front sight. Uh, in this case, I rounded off the whole sight into a semicircular profile, which may not provide the most crisp or precise sight picture for target shooting, but it minimizes the potential of the sight snagging on anything. Next, I cut up some EMT tubing from which I will make the stock, and notched it for welding. I used my milling machine for the notching operations, which is probably overkill, but it worked very well. Then I welded up the EMT tubing to form a stock of sorts. For a metal finish, I decided to powder coat the muzzle loader in sort of a dark forest green color. Of course, I still don't have professional powder coating equipment, so I used the WD-40 method. This consists of cleaning the metal and then wiping it down with a rag moistened with WD-40 so as to deposit a thin film of WD-40 all over the surface of the metal. Then the powder is sprinkled generously onto the metal using a repurposed spice container with a shaker top after which, lightly tapping the part shakes loose any excess, leaving a fairly uniform layer of powder sticking to the WD-40 film on the metal. The next step should be to cure the powder by baking it in an oven at 400 degrees for about half an hour. But this muzzle loader won't fit in the toaster oven that I have in the shop, so instead, I tried to cure the powder manually by heating it over a propane burner. Getting the metal to heat evenly over the burner proved difficult, and the flow of hot gases from the burner tended to blow the powder around, so I didn't get a very even finish curing it this way. However, heating it until the surface reached 400 degrees Fahrenheit as measured with an infrared thermometer, was ultimately effective in curing the powder. I tried removing some of the worst spots with a wire wheel and recoating them, which didn't work out all that well, but it did convince me that as bad as some of it looked, most of the powder coat was indeed pretty solid and pretty well adhered to the metal. 
When I reached a point where I had done all I could do with the powder coating, I finished out the stock by wrapping portions of it with paracord. After finishing the cord wrap, all that remained was reassembly and testing. Because I had welded the forestock to the barrel, I deemed it prudent to redo the proof test. It passed the proof test with flying colors, but I neglected to start the camera when I was doing the proof test. Well, now that I've got it fully reassembled, here is my tactical beta pattern muzzle-loading carbine. Uh, you know, aesthetically, I'd have to say that I'd have to be a lot more into the tactical look than I am to prefer this over the blued finish and hardwood stock, uh, you know, style that I did last time. That said, you know, while this gun may not be pretty, depending on your perspective, uh, it certainly is functional. You know, the uh, EMT tubing stock is quite a bit lighter than the hardwood, and yet the paracord wrap, you know, is quite comfortable. It gives me a good grip. And the powder coating, even though it came out looking a little rough, uh, seems like a pretty durable finish and probably provides a lot more rust protection than the flame blowing. Um, and, you know, admittedly, this is the first of these that I've finished out like this, whereas I've done half a dozen the other way. So if I did a bunch more of these, maybe I'd get better at it and it would look a little bit more refined. But uh, anyway, I think this pretty well concludes our demonstration. So until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.